there are some substrates as well that actually do influence or micronutrients also that actually also are, can help boost your VO2 max as Such well. Such as? Long story short, uh, beetroots obviously have been like something that people have found quite interesting over a long time. Beetroot? Beetroot, yeah. Hmm. Uh, so they use beetroot concentrates. And, and the main, let's say, thinking be be, let's say behind this is that when you take, when you, when you eat nitrate, so which beetroot is normally rich in, uh, and the body, con let's say, uh, uh, converts this to uh, nitric oxide, this helps Dial or sorry, uh, for, for vasodilation. So, yeah. so vasodilation, you can think of this almost like a plumbing. So in our, in our body, we already said that from our pr previous conversation that basically cellular respiration is not the limitation to your view to max. So there are other things that are limiting factor. Uh, that means also that, for example, your cardiovascular uh, system, meaning also actually your ability to transport blood around in your body is going to be important. So the reason for why, for example, one of the reasons for why uh, when, when you then use uh, some uh, supplements like uh, uh, that, that are highly enriched in nitrate, so you get a nitric oxide boost, is that this was actually, it's almost like plumbing. You're opening up the plumbing and it allows yeah. your blood to blow, to say, to, to circulate faster throughout your body. Uh, but one of the things that is, this is hard to reproduce in elite athletes. Like in amateur athletes, we normally see that this has a positive effect. How much of an effect? Oh, uh, then I have to go back and look a little bit on on, on the studies. A real I, effect, like five percent, something measurable. Let, let's say something like that, and then take that with a. And with this a is grain a supplement. Salt. These are yes. these are not people that are out there literally eating endless beet roots. You could buy as a supplement and yeah, concentrate. Yeah. So now yeah. would it be anything that increases nitric oxide? So that's the thing because one thing that we we don't see this we don't see these effects in 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 elites, for example. And this is obviously one of the benefits when we do a lot more longitudinal. Uh, studies with su such, let's say, granularity and in-depth measurements we do. And one of the things we see there is that when they used, uh, because uh, 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 beetroot concentrate or nitri uh, nitrates are considered an er ergogenic aid. Um, but when you do all these measurements, we, we leave out the guesswork and we see, well, over all the testing we do, we have not seen a real effect, or at least not on VO2 max, maybe other places, but it doesn't seem to have an effect. Because on they're VO2 already max. optimized in that regard. Pro probably, probably, maybe, or maybe there are other limiting factors instead. Mm -hmm. So then we I, we were approached by a company in uh, uh, that is called Plasmaid, and they actually focus more on the other part of it. Actually, the let's say the catalyst that actually let's say help because you have to convert nitrate into nitric oxide, and there's a cost to this. So what they did instead is that they made um, uh, from pine bark extracts instead, they made a uh, adaptogen or they extract an adaptogen that helps catalyze this process. And the interesting thing with this, uh, with this adaptogen is that Again, now we are a place where we don't have, we, we can just look at the observations and repeated observations over time, and we can't necessarily explain 100% yet, so it becomes more speculations. But from those, what, what, what we can only speculate or, or hypothesize is that what happens here when they use this plasma, it is that I remember when we got this first presented, I was thinking like, okay, we, 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 we have tested nitric oxide or nitrate, it really didn't give any help, so why should this really give a help or basically give any, make a difference? The interesting thing is that uh, Christian and Gusta were quite positive, so they said, okay, fine, we're going to use this. We, we were just going to test it. We had a bunch of them laying around there, and they said, okay, let's, let's try it. I thought, okay, fine. Uh, Christian or Gusta was the first one to say immediately that he felt it did something with his respiration, but he couldn't. And, and, and then also it's a little bit the placebo as well of it. like, okay, how much of this is placebo? How much of this is real? Like you get something new and say, oh yeah, maybe. And you're looking for something in your body. And, and, and Christian also, but he, he observed a little bit like a different effect to him. He felt more like he normally uh, felt quicker ready for the next effort using this. But I would say that these record measurements that we did came in, let's say in the, in the tail of when we started using this. And that was a little bit of shock because what we also saw at the same time was that the efficiency, so the biochemical efficiency in the body also went down.